No, this guy is cannibalizing his friend. Hang on, who's that? Whoever it is, uh, Xander, come over here, would you? Just deal with this nonsense. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Stranded Alien Dawn, where Ken just finished refueling the balloon, and I'm gonna send Xander out when he gets out, or up, rather, on another expedition. We've got a lot of stuff around here. Spaceship debris, spaceship debris, shooting star, cruise ship debris. I'm actually just gonna send you out on a basic explore mission. I want to see if we can find some of those random discoveries that we could unlock, maybe get some cool new stuff. I mean, the Cruise ship debris sounds really, really good. Maybe it'll still be around. Maybe we can send you out on that later. But what we're really focused on is, of course, the big move. We're trying to move everyone over here. There's a lot of stuff to do. Kana and Raka are basically handling all of it. I want to outline some more defensive structures here. So we've got the beginnings of the wall over here. How about we set up a uh, tower? A concrete tower could live right sort of here-ish, okay? One tower right there, and I want to think about setting up a place for a turret over here, too. Maybe a little more on this side. Anyway, when everyone gets going, go do some things for me, please. Okay, Xander's off. He had a bite to eat in the balloon before he headed out. Good luck! Find something really, really cool! What is everyone else up to? Ken's scavenging. Good. Kana's repairing things. Excellent. And you're also repairing things, and you're tailoring. Oh, good. Han's asleep, of course he is. Yeah, I grossly underestimated tailoring in this game. We should have started making clothing way, way sooner than we did. What are you working on right now? It's like one of those veggie vest things. Cool. What's on the uh, What's on the cards? What's on the agenda here? Uh, we've got some more hats. No, no, we're not. We've finished making hats. We're doing the veggie vest. We've got, well, veggie leggings on the cards, but not enough resources to do it. Okay, we'll try and figure this out as we go along. The crafting table is getting moved over here, and then I'll probably move the tailoring stuff over here when I'm done. Oh, Xander's already checking in. What do you got? Data storage devices. Go there immediately. Flight logs, crew profiles, etc., etc. Okay, what are you gonna get out of that? A data core. Unlocks printed components. There we go. There's a breakthrough right there. So we could get printed components for research here. So go to... No, not that. That. Uh, go to research. Thank you. Printed components so we could make our own stuff, basically. Power cells, CPU cores, and electronics. Oh, that would be super good. Just make our own electronics. We're really, really shy in that department. That could be excellent. Well, if I'm going to set that up, I should set that up over here. Where would I put something like that? Well, I have to research it first, Dave. Just calm down. Heatstroke. Are you kidding me, Raka? Where... Heat stroke. It's the middle of winter. Wow, it is actually very warm in here, isn't it? Okay, I, I see where you're going with that. It's extremely warm in your in your little area here. Well, what if we turn off your heater? Okay, turn that off, and then we'll just rely on the one next door. I didn't realize it was quite so warm in here. Holy moly, Rocky, you ain't kidding. It's like 100 degrees in your little room. Boy, that is a great heater. Well, turn off the heater. That'll save some power right there. How am I gonna move the fridges and the freezers. You know what? I can move the research bench. That doesn't need to be here right now. Move the research bench while I'm thinking about how to move all the food over here. This is gonna be a big to-do to do all of this. I kind of want to... Let's set this up. I want like a row of benches and stuff here just because it'll look cool. Oh, that's fun. That's fun. He's got a tiny, tiny little wind turbine in his hand. Rock is moving one of the wind turbines, and it's a tiny model wind turbine in your hand. Oh, that is fun. I like that. I knew they carried everything. We've seen them carry the turrets, but carrying the wind tur turbine just looks hysterically funny. Okay, that is one more thing over here, and it looks like Kana was moving something, too. You are... looks like you're building that wardrobe. Okay, that's fair. How are we doing on, like, basic materials here? We could use some more stones to make cement out of. That would be good. We scavenged some scrap metal. That's fantastic. We've got a quantity of wood. I wouldn't mind seeing a little bit more, if I'm honest about things. And Xander, you're back. Did somebody fuel the balloon? Yeah. Okay, you know what, Xander? Just keep this party rolling here. That was good. We got a good thing out of that. So let's just go to uh, the regular explore. 
Xander, when you get up, go explore again. Raka coming in with another tiny little wind turbine. I see you've taken your pants off for this, Raka. Was that because you were so hot in your room? Because you're wandering around without pants on in the snow, which is extremely comical with the veggie vest and the little helmet on your head. You look, you look pretty goofy, man. I'm not going to lie about that. Let's keep some hunting going on, too. So somebody go, wow, that did not take long. I did not know that. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. So when we tag something for hunting, the turret just goes, yep, I'm in. Laser just annihilated that Ulfen. Well, that's something to think about. If we get a pack of animals near our gates, I just turn the turrets on and they'll go nuts on this. That is good information. I never knew that the turrets actually did hunting. Well, let's hunt this one too. He's right by the door. Yeah, there we go. Laser's right into that. Laser don't care. You're probably going to bleed out soon, I would imagine. Show me your health. Oh, you're actually not bleeding. Well, if you wander anywhere near Laser, you're going to be. So, Laser, you want to get in on that? Laser, you going to come in? You going to get on hunting that? Do you just do it like the first time I tag it? Or you are in range, right? Oh, you're j oh, he's just standing out of range. You are one clever Ulfen. Xander's done, though. What you got? I uh, won't be able to scavenge it. Go there immediately. No, go, go there, go there immediately. Go do whatever it is you're doing. Control module debris. You got some scrap metal. Okay, cool. Well, come on back with that then. This is working out. Oh, well, there we go. Captain Hans coming in to finish off the wily Ulfen who's standing just out of range. All right, you, you're coming in, right? You're coming in, right? Han, what are, you, what are you doing? Oh, you're butchering the bugs from last time. Okay, yeah, that's fair. I see where you're going with that. Okay, well, if these guys wander... Oh, you died. Great. Uh, that was easy. Yep, butcher that guy. La Whoa. Laser burn, laser burn, laser burn, laser burn, laser burn. Kill shot. Okay, laser, you are the best hunter we've got right now. I'm just going to set up some lamps uh, in people's rooms with the idea of beginning to move some people over here. So two rooms there. Ah, you're putting the furnaces in. That's cool. Now, do those still have the things tagged? Yeah, they do. Okay. Uh, concrete until we have 100. Oh, no, no, no. Let's do more than that. Uh, let's do like 400. We got a lot of walls to build around here. So they're going to be moving some stuff still, and then they'll start on the whole building the stuff that I haven't had them build yet, like the walls and the whatnots. And on that, is there anyone else I could be putting on basic construction? Because we need a lot of this right now. Ah, it really is just Raka and Kana. They're the only ones getting anything done. Xander could technically do it, but he's got to do the cooking around here, which is exactly what he's doing right now. Ken's got a lot of other things going on, too. Who? I do not have a great team. It's going to be all Raka and Kana at this point. I just saw one of them moving over here. Is that Raka? Raka. Oh, you put pants on. Oh, good for you, man. All right, we got one light turned on over here, and Kana was just complaining about the floors over here. That's fine. I can... I can cope with that. How about just some regular wooden floors? Don't need anything super fancy here. Uh, no, 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 no. Go back to flooring there. So flooring, wooden floor, there to there. Okay. Uh, Nova has pneumonia. I'm sure she'll cope with that. She is, in fact, a doctor. Do I have? I bet I do. I bet I've got enough stuff to put together another one of these graphine. So graphene? Graphine? I have no idea. Anyway, the upgraded solar panel. Let's throw one of those in there. Insufficient materials. Oh, yeah, we are really low on those metal alloys, aren't we? We're, we're making those, right? Well, we're not making them here, but we're making... The, ah, see, the electric furnace is in the process of being moved. So it's not actually doing anything. Um, Kana, Kana, hang on. Slow down, Kana. Slow down. Could you move one of those now, please? Because I'd like to get that kind of up and running. No, that's my pressing room there. Where did I put my stuff? It's over It's over here somewhere. Yeah. Move. Can you? No, no. Move the electric furnace times two. Yeah, that's what I want you to do. Uh, Raka, what are you doing? You're, I don't know. Oh, you laid a little bit of floor. Yeah, I know, Cave Dweller. We're working on it. You are actually working on it right now. Is the balloon refueled? I'm just going to keep Xander out and about. So, uh, yeah, we have refueled it. Let's do another expedition. How about you go to... <sighs> do the explore one. Let's just see if we can get... Yeah, you're not doing anything. Go to the explore one. Let's just see if we can get some more 
unlockables here. All right, Khan is bringing in one of the other furnaces here. Now, obviously, I'm sure the things are... Yeah, we are doing metal alloys from ore. Okay, that's fine. I think the other one is doing uh, metal alloys from scrap metal. Uh, so she'll get that over in a second. 100, how about 150? We're going to use a lot of these. Uh, which finds, Xander? What's up? Found nothing of interest. Nothing. Nothing interesting at all. You're on an alien planet. There was literally... You, were, you just flew over and like, meh. Eh, alien planet. Whatever. Okay, yeah, that is disappointing. You're not wrong about that, Xander. I suppose they can't all be winners. Uh, Rock is asleep. That's terrible. You're tailoring. That's excellent. Han's asleep. Ken, what are you doing? You're punching a pole. Oh, I should put the punching pole thing back over here. Oh, Kana fell over. Okay. Uh, Kana, where, where are you? You're over here. Okay, somebody got you. Yep, you have been working very hard. You're not wrong about that. A little... A little nap would do you the world of good. How uh, how warm is it in Raka's room right now? Okay, it's a slightly more tolerable. It's not not warm, but it's slightly more tolerable here. Uh, we're coming out of winter fairly soon and going into spring. Growing season will start. Maybe I should just set up another freezer over here. For no other reason than to start storing food over there rather than over here. Uh, what are you? What was you? What were you doing there? Were you moving stuff into here? Is that what your what your plan was? Oh yeah, you moved some electronics. We're just gonna wait on those metal metal alloys. That's fine. Um, we got a we got a Gujo over here. Just kind of wandered into flamethrower territory and got horribly burned by that. There's another one coming in. I'm kind of yeah. I'm just inclined to let flamethrower deal with this. That seems to be working out fine. Yeah, you just buggered off. Understandably so. You've been burned. You're in pain. You're barely moving. Um, somebody want to go finish this nonsense? Nova. Ah, oh, you're going to go have a bite to eat. Um, he's coming right back into flamethrower range. I think we'll just kind of let flamethrower handle this. Are you going to torch this guy? You going to you gonna do your thing? No, this guy is cannibalizing his friend. Hang on, who's that? Whoever it is, uh, Xander, come over here, would you? Just deal with this nonsense. Yeah, come on over and shoot that guy. There we go. This this will be over very, very soon. Okay, Xander's solved that problem. Probably we should close the gate to stop that happening in the future. It's New Year's Eve again. Wow, we've been here for a while. Uh, let's get these guys butchered. Thank you very much. Butcher those two guys. New Year's Eve. Absolutely. Let's have a big old party. And Xander, when you're done eating, big surprise. Oh, control module debris. Let's head out for that. Let's head out for that. We could use good electronics around here. When you're done eating, uh, you won't be here for New Year's Eve, but go get your thing. Nova's sick. Uh, Nova, could you, like, heal? Hang on. Heal yourself? Is that a thing you can do? Yeah, heal yourself, please. Thank you. I'm going to have Nova move this furnace over just so we can keep the metal alloys coming in because we have zero at this point. Rock is desperately working on the floor down here. Everyone's coming over to chip in. And by everyone, I mean Rock and Kana primarily. Uh, you just put some stuff in there. That's cool. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Xander needs to check in here. What you find, Chief? Scrap metal and power cells. Okay, good. Yep, power cells will be very, very handy. Okay, there we go. We finally got the furnace over here. Right, scrap metal into alloys. Let's uh, bump this up a little bit here. 150 out of those, please. Thank you very much. This bedroom is largely done. And by largely done, I mean it's completely done. I'm moving somebody. And I got an idea who, actually. Uh, Ken and Kana, because they have their own little bungalow over here. I'm going to move one of these guys over. Kana, you spend most of your time over there anyway. Why don't you live over there? I know, you're going to have to walk all the way down the street for breakfast. I get it. But we're going to move you over here. This is going to be your new room. I'm even going to move your little table and chair because you're a writer, and I figure you need something to write at. You don't, but it seems like, you know, part of a lore kind of thing. I feel you should have a little table and chair in your room over here. So we're moving Kana. Kana is the first to move to the new base. Oh, and somebody came over and already moved the bed. Is that still tagged for Kana? It is. Okay, great. So you live over here now, Kana. I just set up a light over here, and you're the one who's got the wood stove in your room. If I take that out of there, Ken's going to be wicked cold. But it's almost spring. I'm pretty sure he could probably cope with it. I'll leave it here for now. But what I will do is move the air conditioner. Because we're going to need that over here at some point. I'd like to see if I can be... I know, this is not a word that I commonly use, but slightly more efficient about these kinds of things. Now, why are you telling me red there? 
I'm going to give this a shot here. Um, so I'm thinking of like maybe two air conditioners in the main hall and then open up everything else with vents. And then they've got vents between these rooms. I might, I'll probably need to add some more AC units in there. We'll kind of feel it out as it goes along. Oh, Kana's moving her chair over. Yep, her little writing chair. Enjoy that, Kana. You got a really nice big bedroom. This is going to work out great for you. Uh, who's going to be next? Well, I want to get the floors finished. Actually, this floor is finished. And who's, is that, is that Ken's chair? I think that's Ken's chair. I think I'm going to move Ken. Ken, is that, is that your chair? Come here. Uh, leather armchair. Oh, we might just be building that. Solar eclipse. I'll learn to cope. We won't have any power, but I'll learn to cope with that. Okay, we're moving. Oh, Xander, you have nothing to do. Congratulations, Chief. You're out in the balloon. Yeah, that is Ken's chair they're moving. So let's move Ken's bed. Ken and Kana, you're going to love the fact you don't have to share a bungalow anymore. Uh, you guys are going to live over here. So I'm going to put your bed right over there. There's so much room here. Uh, can I assign these things to people? No. Okay, that's for everyone. All right, I can't do, like, this is Ken's didgeridoo. That, that sounds weird when I say that out loud. This is Ken's didgeridoo. It sounds weirder every time I say it. Try it at home. Say it, like, four or five times in a row and feel how weird that sounds when you say it. Well, now, now I'll move the wood stove over. Let's just get this moving over here. I'll put this in, I don't know, somebody's room. There's vents between all the rooms, so why don't we have... Ken, you can have the wood stove right here. Okay, so that's Ken's room set up and Kana's room set up. They haven't put the light in Kana's room yet, but they'll work on it. They're going to get there eventually. All right, with all of that stuff moved out, and I think Xander is actually moving the wood stove right now. Uh, we're still waiting on some fuel in the balloon, and after that, Xander's going right out. Do I actually have any fuel? I have no fuel. Okay, that's why we're not moving fuel. Somebody needs to move the crafting bench over, because that's how we're making fuel these days. Uh, so who's not doing anything vitally important? Uh, Kana, Raka, Han, you're growing things. Good. Uh, Nova's eating. Okay, when you're done with that... No, 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 you're not going to sleep. Could you please move the workbench over there, and then you can have a snooze after that. And somebody butcher that dead orphan over there and hunt that one, please. I need more leather coming in. Ken's going to have a meltdown. Is it because you live somewhere else right now? It's probably a little lonely over there, but it's going to get so much better over time. How are we doing on this? Are we getting those done? We're not really working. We have so much going on right now. I see they moved the press. That came over here. Moonshine and sweet syrup. That's fine. We don't have the stuff for that right now. Um, so my... Where, wait, where did you put... Oh, there's my, my bench right there. Yeah, liquid fuel. That's what we need. Liquid fuel. Oh, it's like a swarm of ants over here right now. Everybody is doing stuff over here. We're stocking up the new stockpiles with the things that we get. What do we got over here? Oh, some carbon nanotubes, some cement. If people wanted to start working on the walls... that Oh, aggressive animals. That's bad. Where? Up there? Okay. Okay, where are you in real... Oh, that's a bad spot. That is a bad... You know what? I don't need any of this anymore. I could rip all of this down, reclaim a bunch of materials, by the way, and then seal this back off. Yeah, I got nothing over here. I think this has got to be stupid, stupid plan, where we lure a few of them in a little bit at a time. There's like 40 of them. Okay, um, yeah, we're going with stupid, stupid plan. Everyone start lining up over here, and we're going to figure it out from there. Except Kana. We'll leave Kana just kind of poking around doing her thing, because she hates combat. She gets all sad if she has to shoot things, unlike Ken, who loves the murders. And Captain Han. Captain Han loves the murders, too. Not as much as Ken. Ken gets wicked psyched when he kills something. He's just, like, so happy. He's like, oh, I killed something today. This is the best day ever. Kana's like, oh, no, I had to kill an aggressive animal. I'm wicked, wicked sad. I'd rather be moving stuff back and forth in a very silly plan to move the entire base. All right, let's see what we can do here, because they're kind of up in this direction, right? Where, where are they? Oh, they're a little bit more up here. Okay, that's fine. They're in kind of a fidgety spot, aren't they? Let's see what happens if we move up here. We can probably get an eyeball on some of them. Again, stupid, stupid plan. That's what we're going with here. We're going to lure a few of them out. There we go. Okay. Lure them out a little bit at a time. And rather than all of them coming at once. Except they're all... 
They're all kind of coming at once, but we're getting some good stuns in with the pulse rifle. Boy, those pulse rifles just pay for themselves. We've shot a tree down. Trees are going down. Everything is happening. People are attacking. Lots of things are stunned. Everything's going on. Uh, stunning, stunning. More shooting. More shooting that guy, please. Thank you. Yeah, more shooting. Take some more trees down if you need to. We'll reclaim the wood. Okay, first wave is over, so we're kind of poking our nose in here, waiting for Captain Han to get a really good shot. There we go. Some more coming in. Uh, are you attacking us? No, you're not attacking us. You're leaving. Uh, they basically all figured it out at once, and they're all coming in. Neat. Uh, everyone shoot everything that moves that isn't us. So anything that isn't a, a colonist, kill it, stab it, punch it in the throat. I don't know. Just keep doing things until things are done. Okay, let me just check in on Nova here. How are you doing? Not life-threatening, but you are bleeding pretty badly, actually. We'll, we'll be done with this very, very soon. They're almost... The last of them are just coming in right now. And they're going down, they're going down. And we're going to need to do a little bit of stabbing on this guy. A little bit of stabbing, please. Okay, something rotted away. We'll learn to cope with that information. And we are almost done. Come on, almost done, guys. It's like two more of them here. One more of them. Come on, come on in. Get stabbed. And then your friend is going to come in and get stabbed. Okay, everybody go back to work. And by back to work, I mean Nova. Go heal yourself, like, immediately. All right, I'm going to kind of work on that idea that I don't really need any of this. Except the power line. Actually, I don't even need the power lines, do I? I don't need any of this stuff. All I really need to do is throw up another wall here. Just so, you know, the, the base is not completely wide open. So let's put a wall uh, from, I don't know, here to uh, here to here. And then hopefully the guys can get that built like super, super quickly. All of this is getting torn down. Everything, everything here is getting torn down. Okay. Oh, there's two CPU cores over there. Oh, that's from the balloon. Okay, I see. I'm in the radius of the balloon there. So what do we not need? We don't need a metal floor. Deconstruct that. We don't need a stone floor. We don't need a scrap metal floor. Uh, hopefully. Did I just take down... Cancel that. Hang on, hang on. Let me do this a little bit more sensibly. Let's make sure I'm just getting the stuff that is in the area that I want to tear down. That's a little bit more. No, no, that's still not quite it, is it? No, no, no. Come out of that. How about we just did this bit? There we go. That's more sensible. Why are there still two CPU cores there? Where do you think those are? Over here? That's weird. Okay, well, um, tear all of this down. All right, Ken's working on Nova right now. Raka, you are sleeping and your health is ticking back up. You're not bleeding anymore. You are ill, but I'm sure we'll probably cope with that. And all of this needs to go away. Everyone's going to need a little bit of time to heal up there. Let's get that moving a little bit faster. Oh, I was also going to completely deconstruct the bungalow over here. There's no reason for this. Let's get all of that out of here. So, Eric, yeah, just get rid of all of this. Uh, no, 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 not the not the room itself. Uh, wooden floor, deconstruct, doors, out of here. Um, no, 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 stop doing, stop doing that. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, Xander, you have nothing to do? Good news, we're out of sticks. So I need you to go find some sticks around here somewhere. Uh, those are things that have sticks. Uh, giant grass is, I don't know, cut it anyway. It's probably hay, I actually need that anyway. And then these guys, yeah, these are these are definitely sticks. Cut those down for sticks. Got all sorts of sticks that need to happen around here, Chief. Okay, Ken and Kana now live over here. Oh, hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. No, that was her little writing desk. Oh, we hadn't moved that yet. Yeah, I think it's a little too late on that one, Kana. Whoops. No, it's fine. I'll build you a new one. I'll build you a new one. How about a table out of metal. Oh, actually, I don't really have the metal. You're going to have to have one out of stone, or rather wood. Okay. Wooden table. Sorry, I'm out of I'm out of metal. We're working on the metal. Are we working on the metal? We're still awaiting materials. I need someone who... Oh, there we go. Problem solved. Let's start to work on this building, too. So let's move the soldering bench way over here into my line of workbenches. So that could cuddle up right about... Actually, it looks better here. It looks more techy over here. And then this can be the regular crafting and the tailoring one. And then we could start to deconstruct a rather empty... Oh, distress signal. Hang on. Distress signal, you say? Okay, cool. Um, problem is we have no fuel. I need fuel for the thing. 
Yeah, we only have nine fuel in here. I need somebody to, like, wicked work on fuel, like, right now. Like, super amazingly right now. Nova, can you do that? Craft liquid fuel. Yeah, do that. Do that, please. Do we have the stuff for it? I'm assuming we do, if you're on your way to do it. Yep, you are getting whatever that is, some sort of oil for that. Uh, Xander, don't worry about having nothing to do, kid. You're going to be out the door in a second. Okay, so back to this idea. Wait, who is that? Ken? Ken, you've got a bed. It. Oh, did we not move Ken's bed? No, we moved Ken's bed. Ken, you live over here. Why did your... Oh, you somehow the owner just got unassigned. Weird. Uh, no, Ken, that's your room over there, kid. Sorry, I had Con Connor's bed transferred ownership. Ken's didn't. That's weird. Okay, well, problem solved. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, deconstructing and emptying. These, you can get up now, Ken. Ken? Ah, you know what? Whatever. Um, there's like, virtually nothing on here anyway, so let's take this whole thing. Uh, empty and deconstruct, please. Empty and deconstruct those shelves. And then also, empty and deconstruct this stockpile. Insufficient storage space for what? Carbon nanotubes? Oh, you don't even worry about that. I can fix that. Also, probably don't bother with this lamp. We're getting rid of the entire building soon. Um, storage. Okay, we can totally 100% handle that. Why are you not... Oh, you're not putting it over here because you actually technically haven't built this stockpile. Raka, could you... I know, I've got you doing everything, kid. Could you work on this next, please? Construct that stockpile, please. I gotta get some kind of floor in here, too. They're whining about the cave dweller thing. Uh, Thunderstorm is fine. Uh, Nova, how long is it gonna be on this whole liquid fuel thing? Because I really like to get Xander out the door. Uh, no, I appreciate that you're doing... You're gonna put it on the shelf. That's great. Could you actually take it and put it in the balloon, please? What do you mean, no fuel? We're talking about no fuel. You just literally made some. Oh, you're taking it right now. Okay, never mind. You're stocking it up right now. Good for you. I see we got enough of the alloys. We've got the new solar panel up and running. It's pouring rain, but we have a new solar panel up and running there. You're getting some stuff from here, and looks like Rocka built a few extra stockpile areas. It certainly was enough to turn off the thing that says we can't move this stuff around. Oh, yeah, this is this building's coming down momentarily. And then, actually, the real reason I need as many of this stuff over here could start to move some of those solar panels around or maybe focus a little bit more is this done uh yeah xander you need to get out the door like right now dude because you know distress signal that might actually be a human there we go spacious bedroom on ken plus 18 on that plus 18 on spacious bedroom oh fantastic how's uh ken speaking of han rather how's the uh how's the farming going we could be doing a little bit more farming. I really made a very, very weird growing area here. You know what? I'm happy with it. I know. We need sticks. We're going to work on sticks. Don't worry about sticks. Sticks are going to happen. Sticks are everywhere. We can totally make sticks a thing. Uh, while we're here, actually, just grab those uh, glitter caps. No reason to waste those. I think we can move a lot of stuff from the old wine bar, too. So let's move this wood stove, which we should probably actually just shut off. No real reason to have this going. So I've got... Let me see here. One wood stove in Ken's room. How about we did another one, uh, like right here, right in the middle of the room. That'll be nice and warm over there. And let's make sure we actually have this shut off. Uh, yeah, extinguish that, please. Don't really need that up and running. Should probably... Eh, it's 12 degrees out. Probably a little early to open the windows around here. We got some stuff there. We still need sticks. Well, no luck on Xander there. Whoever was there is dead. Bury the pool, poor soul and do some scavenging. No, just come on home, man. Uh, a little disappointing there. I was hoping for another person. Um, you know what I kind of need? You know what would be great here? A door. This is very, very silly that there's no door going in and out of here. To do that, though, I probably need to shrink this a little bit. I don't want to deconstruct it. I just want to make it smaller because I bet you... If I try and put a door in there, they're going to tell me, no, you can't put a door in there. That's very, very silly. Uh, yeah, no, I didn't think so. Obstructed access. Okay. How? I'd like to just take, like, one corner of this and j not empty and deconstruct the whole thing. How about this side? What if I... Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cancel this bit. Great. And then I'm going to put up another one over here. So a stockpile 
but a stockpile that only runs to there. And then hopefully we should be able to put a door right in here. I don't know why I didn't think of a door there. Well, I do know why. I'm very silly sometimes. And out in this stockpile, let's just make sure it's really just construction materials. Uh, yeah, no, none of this, actually. Absolutely none of this. All of that can live in the shelves inside. Just construction materials out there that hopefully will not completely deteriorate. Okay, now what? Oh, a lot of these growing areas I forgot to turn planting back on. Yes, absolutely. Plant all of this, please. Sorry. And I probably turned that off in the winter so you weren't doing something silly like trying to plant in the middle of winter. Uh, Rock is going to have a meltdown. He often does. What else could I be? I'm on a deconstructing kick here. What else can we smash around here? Uh, we could get all of these shelves out of here. Uh, well, we're already... Yeah, keep it empty. And then the, sh the shelves themselves. I'd like to just deconstruct... Deconstruct the shelves? De deconstruct the shelves? Oh, how about you go to the right thing here, Chief? Deconstruct the shelves. And let's start moving a few more of these solar panels around. I know we're in the middle of a solar flare, but you know what? I'll, I'll learn to cope with that. Oh, they haven't actually built the floor yet. Well, they put the materials in there. They can figure that out. So a couple of solar panels there. I'm just, I'm very much on a rip everything down move, but I also do need to move things that I don't want to deconstruct. We should probably keep things like, you know, electricity. Now we're shy on electronics, and that means we're not actually repairing the things that need to get repaired, are we? Not really. That bench is about to go down. Lots of things are starting to break down around here. What are we struggling with on these floors, by the way? Carbon tiles. Okay, we've got like 2.5 carbon nanotubes. Um, Dave, it might be because you're asking them to literally move an entire base from one side of the map to the other. It could be why they're moving a teeny tiny bit slow. Maybe give them a little bit of slack here. Of course, that is not going to stop me from having them deconstruct this entire room. So, uh, can I just deconstruct the room? No, I can't. Okay. Uh, the door, the floor, the, well, the window will go by itself, the stairs can go, and the wooden walls will go by themselves. Okay, yeah, wow, they're wicked into this. They love smashing stuff. Is that Xander down there? Uh, who is that? That is, oh, it's Raka. Raka, you change your clothes more often than, well, somebody changes their clothes, like, really often. Oh, yeah, probably remember to start turning all the heaters off, too, because everyone's having horrible, horrible heat stroke at the moment, so... Turn off all of this. Turn off any wood stoves. Uh, yeah, extinguish that. Xander's room. You get really, really hot in here. Xander, you might be the one to be moved next. Xander, how would you like to get moved? Literally anywhere but where you are right now. When I say literally anywhere, I actually don't mean literally anywhere. I mean over here. Uh, we've got another bedroom that's kind of ready to go over here. Why don't we put you uh, right here? And that can be your little room. I'm going to bump Nova to one on assembly and back her off of tailoring a little bit because we've got to get some electronics in here. We have nothing going on on the soldering bench right now, so we've got to get some of those in. We're really struggling to get anything else done. Animal attack, really. Okay, hang on. Laser seems to have a good idea about what to do about that. Yeah, I think Laser can probably handle this, but just in case, let's get uh, let's get the team out here. So, and Nova, and uh, who else is awake? Xander... Uh, Ken, you, it, I, I normally wouldn't wake you up, but you're going to love it because it's murders. You're absolutely going to love it. We're going to do some murders. One of them is already, already almost dead there. Oh, lasers just following him around. Oh, it's just sad. Oh, the poor little thing. Just laser tracking him. Just, oh, death to, death to the Gujo. Uh, you know what? I actually may not have needed to get the team up for this one. But, you know, here we are. We can go kind of chip in here, help Laser out a little bit. Yeah, go go over here. Laser has dealt with basically all of these problems except this guy. He's just wily out of range Gujo. So if we just sort of swing in here, I think we can deal with this just fine. Uh, get, get with the murders. Yep. Okay, we're murdering. And we're done. Okay, thanks, team. All right, good news. Nova's over on the electronics bench here doing some electronics-y stuff. Hasn't actually made anything yet. But the idea is there. I still need someone to be making some liquid fuel. I need more. Who's... I don't really want to shuffle people around because everyone's kind of doing every everything that's important. But who else is vaguely good at crafting? Actually, lots of people are good at crafting. But it can't be Raka or Kana because they're doing all the construction. Xandra does all the cooking. Ken would actually like to do it. 
Ken, I'm going to put you weirdly number one on crafting just for a little bit, because you'll love it. You're terrible at it, but you will enjoy it. I do see they finally finished my cement wall over here. It took them ages, too. Now, I don't know if this weird little corner here is going to be a potential point of entry. Is there any way for me to seal that off any more? Yeah, like that. Oh, actually, wow, we can go right into the water line. Well, we should do that then, because if I can go into the water line, chances are an attacking animal can probably do that too. I could have, I could theoretically, I might, I don't know, I'll see how adventurous I get. I'm pretty sure I can do a floor, like right across uh, anything, scrap metal, right across as a bridge. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Oh, that's, I could make a nice pier though. Ooh, I could make a defensive pier. Because, oh, hang on, hang on. That's actually a really good idea. Wait a minute. I may have stumbled onto a brilliant idea here. So if I did a scrap metal floor, just like this, that can't go any further than that, if there was something over here, then we could shoot at it and they would have no way of getting to us. I'm doing it just for the sake of having a fishing pier. We have a fishing pier, team. And they're getting some more bedrooms done, too. Ah, uh, that's about to rot away. I'll, I'll look at that in a sec. Hang on, slow it down a little bit here. Why are they about to rot away? Because we've just left them in an open field. Okay, that's fun. Um, Han, Nova, no, Nova's doing something very... Everyone's doing something, like, super important right now. Ken, you're less important right now. Could you haul those bush fruits, please? All right, let's keep the defensive idea going here. So let's do this to here, and then I'd actually like to come out a little bit more, and then over to here. We won't have enough cement to do everything I want to do, but we're going to kind of get in the range of doing the things that I want to do. So, I want another tower up as well. Let's do a cement tower, a concrete tower, right in the middle like this. Now, hang on, I was in the process of moving some more power, but we've got these guys... That's a lot of Shriekers. That is not a small amount of Shriekers up there. Where are they in relation to us? Pretty close by. Pretty close by. Uh, let's do... Ooh, that is a lot of Shriekers. They're going to come down here. They will be in range of one of our turrets. Uh, so turn that on. Do I have any more turrety areas up here? Not as such. No, not as such. Because I just took down a bunch of them, didn't I? Okay, um, we can broadly begin to cope with this. I do have a fair number of towers around here, kind of, vaguely, sort of. I don't suppose we could wicked quickly move this tower, say, over here, like that. Um, put that guy over there, and then who's not doing anything? You're transporting an electronic, that's actually incredibly important. Could you please... Wait, what do you mean, waiting for other construction? Just, just move the thing. Oh, I get it, we actually have to take down the wall to do that. That's even worse. Oh, we lost some leather there. Everything's unpowered. Okay, we, we need stupid, stupid plan. I can't play around with these guys uh, because those Shriekers will just wreck us. So everybody on board. Uh, Kana, I may not even need you in on this one. I know you hate doing it, but here we are. Oh, these guys ain't playing either. They took out a whole bunch of Draka over here with not a... S oh, yeah. Yeah, there's been a minor war. Wow, these guys look really beefy. Are you like, you're a Shrieker brood mother? Oh, that can't be good. Occasionally secrete silk made out of carbon nanotubes. Output depends on current happiness. Oh, I'm so happy I'm producing carbon nanotubes. Uh, pheromones that agitate insects and make them move quicker. Oh, this ain't good. Oh, this is not fun at all. Uh, sh shoot. Shoot her, actually. No, like, attack. Attack her. Everybody, well, actually, stay here, and then she'll come into range. Ken's got an eyeball on her. Um, this is, this is gonna go horribly, horribly wrong, isn't it? Yeah, they ain't kidding about the moving faster thing. The Glutch are just on high speed mode right now. Um, let's focus our fire on her. She seems to be the biggest threat right now. Uh, injuries. Yes, everyone is injured. Everyone's having a hard time right now. I'm having a hard time right now. Take out the brood mother. Yeah, Xander, why are you stabbing? So just, just shoot her. Shoot her. With, with your pulse rifle. Is it bunk? Is your pulse rifle... Hang on, where's your thing? 
No, you you got some juice in that, kid. That, that's you, right? Oh no, that's Raka. Raka, you have a crossbow. Why are you not crossbowing? I don't know. Um, right. This this is a problem. This is a problem. Uh, st there. Okay, she's down. All right, everyone, focus on literally anything else at this point. So shoot all these things. Oh no, they did the whole toxic gas thing. Of course they do, because that's literally what they do. They're exploding caterpillars. We learned that on day one here. Day one. Kana's better at combat, so she'll be sadder about it. Could we possibly all move out of the range of the toxic gas? Just asking for a friend here. Okay, asking for a friend. There's now the regular shriekers are coming in. I think we can cope with those guys. And you wanna you gonna shoot those guys? Was that, was that one of the ones we're supposed to be attacking or not? Are we attacking this guy? Attack him anyway. Oh, hang on. There's an animal attack, uh, which is the same animal attack that we're currently dealing with. But let's try and deal with this in a sensible manner, if we possibly can. Uh, where are they? Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay, well, we'll have some decent high ground here for a start. And now the Glutch aren't moving like lightning at this point because the Broodmother's dead. Okay, without the Broodmother in play, this is going a lot better. So we're doing our stunning and we're we're shooting and stabbing occasionally. But yeah, that Broodmother is not to be messed around with. That was a big deal. She just amped up everybody. It was like all of these guys were on super high speed mode, crazy mode. Okay, that is uh, about to go down. Okay, everybody undraft and go heal yourselves. How did y'all do with that? Uh, you're bleeding out eventually. Uh, Xander, you are not really bleeding out that much. May as well get all this stuff too. So get all of this. Uh, butcher that. Butcher that. Butcher that. Butcher that. Okay, Ronka, was it just that your cross... Yeah, your crossbow was garbage. Uh, ooh, we have a railgun sniper? In stock. When did that happen? I'm not giving that to Raka. That's absurd. However, I will definitely give that to Ken. Ken with... Oh, I for, I didn't even know we made that. I mean, I knew it was on the queue forever. I'm just not sure I actually remembered that we finally made it. Okay, what else can I destroy? This whole building can go. Let's move the punching pole. Because people love that sort of thing. Nova is healing herself. I know she looks bad, but she's going to pull through. It's going to be just fine. Now, Xander got an infection here. Hopefully we can deal with that. Ken is better at being a doctor, which is great. Ken loves the murders and he loves the healing up afterwards. I think we're in a position to move somebody else's bedroom over here. Uh, who would like to be next? We move Xander, Ken, and Kana. Uh, we are moving this, right, at some point? Oh, huh, I don't think we are. Uh, let's move that. Uh, we're going to lose those berries again. That's where the wine is coming from. Raka will be furious. Okay, slow down. A lot of stuff going on here right now, isn't there? I'm going to move this wood stove right into the crafting area here. So what is the problem with the unpowered devices? Not enough power. Yeah, I am in the middle of moving a lot of these, so I'm sure in the interim we don't have power. Uh, so Xander's sick. We've lost that. Where are these things? Could somebody just go get those? Kind of everybody's asleep right now. Um... You know what, that's fine. If we miss them, we miss them. There's worse things that could happen. Really? More of these guys? Are you kidding me on this? I'm a little busy right now. I'm a little tiny bit busy right now. Uh, you know what? It's actually going to cure this problem, no problem, is these two turrets. I'm going to broadly um, say I'm going to ignore a lot of this until it actually becomes a problem. Because, yeah, they're, they're already in. Yeah, they're already in. These turrets are already working. This is kind of what I thought here. And then anyone who comes into range of this one, laser will take care of them. We had this problem before in exactly the same area. And I got the team all ready. And it turns out a couple of turrets can take care of that problem. Speaking of which, if I were an annoying, hungry, destructive animal, where would I likely be coming in from? Probably over here. Oh, hang on. Somebody go murder that oofen. And uh, you know what? That one too. Probably over here, or probably over here. I think I'm going to set a turret up over here at some point, but it's not going to be my top priority place. No reason I can't get it going, though, uh, except for the fact that they have 27 million other things to be doing right now. Yeah, turret's just dealing. Turret's just dealing just fine with this. Uh, I don't really think I even need to get involved in this unless something pops up and tells me otherwise. So how about we did 
Uh, stone. No, no, not not no, no, no. Do the, do the things that I'm asking you to do there. Do a floor. Scrap metal is weak support. Strong support on wood. And I've got a lot of wood. All right, so make this be taller, please. Like, that much taller. And bring that over here. Like that. And then I want a stair... I know I don't need the staircases. I just like having the staircases. I think it looks good. And that can be one turret spot up there. That should be a lot of good coverage. They should have no problem shooting anything that lives... Yeah, again, I'm just broadly ignoring this. This turret seems to have all of this under control. Just casually picking them off as they come in. Animal attack. Uh, laser's got that one covered. Yep, laser dealt with that one. Everything's... Do yep, uh, laser dealt with that one, too. I don't even think that guy was part of the same team, but... Laser said, nah, I ain't having this. Ooh, there are a bunch of them coming in. It's not, um... Not a small amount coming in there. Okay, I'm I'm trusting in turret and laser. Oh, there's one guy right down here who's just being a little bit fussy. Um, Xander, can I just bring you over here just to kind of deal with this? I know, you're halfway across the map. It's just eventually he's going to break down the defenses there. He's going to break down the wall. Then he'll be inside, and that will be less good for everyone concerned. Problem right now with people attacking this base is that everyone's over at the new base. So that's a little bit fussy. Xander, are you... Yeah, anywhere. Yeah, you're coming in. You're coming in. You're going to be fine. Uh, just go over here and just take this guy out for me, would you? Uh, turret will take care of any other problems for you. Turret will run interference. There we go. We've solved that problem. Um, probably go back inside now, Xander. We'll hope that turret takes care of everything else. Ah, uh, you know what? Turret might not 100% take care of everything else because they're getting into that one, one little spot down there that turret can't reach. So turret and Xander are going to deal with this nonsense. Now I'm going to have Xander go poke the bear a little bit, see if we can draw some more of these down here, because I'd like to just basically be finished with this. I don't want to have these guys hanging around. I've got Xander. i got other things for Xander to be doing at this point in time. So shoot a few more of them. Animal attack. Yeah, okay. Come on back down. Turret can run interference for you. Yep, turret's in. All right, what's been going on over here since I've been gone dealing with that nonsense? Ah, uh, no, we can probably go ahead and extinguish that, actually. Is this one on, too? Uh, nope, it is not. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't think we really need the fire going right now. It's fairly warm. In fact, what we should probably do is start opening all of these windows. Yep, get all of those opened up. And that did cover that, too. Well, just make sure everything's opened up. It's a nice day outside. Let's make sure we're enjoying that. Now, who else was going to get moved over here? Raka, kind of thinking about you. Again, you're over here all the time. You may as well live over here all the time. Is this Raka's bed? That is Raka's bed. Okay, Raka, we're moving you. Raka, you live over here now. I'll get you some kind of light eventually. Not anytime quickly, but eventually you'll have a light on in your room. And then we might perk it up a little bit later when we're a little more settled. Maybe some armchairs, something like that. How are things going over here? Yep, you are desperately trying to work on electronics. Whew, those are a slow, slow burn there. Might be an idea to have up a second soldering bench. Just do two-fisted electronics here. Um, I gotta be kind of thoughtful about dismantling these because I'll interrupt my power chain. In fact, I don't think these are connected at all, are they? I don't know. I think they're connected into here. Hmm, you have to think about that. Uh, what we can do definitely is get rid of this. So, empty and deconstruct that. Why has this not been moved? Oh, hang on, I think we've got one of the... Yeah, one of these guys is in here. Oh, so fussy spot there. Who's nearby? Is anyone, like, really, really close by here? Who lives here? Uh, absolutely nobody. Everybody's over on the other side of the base. Fantastic. Uh, Raka, you must be here. You're cooking. Uh, you've got a giant melon in your hands. Drop the melon, pick up a rifle, let's go. No, never mind, he's in. Oh, that's fussy. Uh, go right over here. Yeah, he's in. He's in. That's that's just one tiny little spot that nobody can quite reach. Uh, turret should take care of him momentarily. There we go. Turret's taking care of him momentarily. A couple of more hungry pests. Where are they? Let's just kind of end this nonsense here. Uh, they're over here. Okay, come over here. Okay, problem finally solved. Turret did most of the work there. I'll get a few of these tagged to butcher, but I don't want to take up everyone's time butchering 81 of the things. All right, where am I at? The fishing pier is going to be amazing when I'm done with this. 
The fortifications are coming along. We built the turret tower over here. In fact, you know what? Let's just move a turret. Well, I say let's just move a turret. Kind of need the turrets over here now, don't we, Dave? The fortifications are coming along. Don't really know what I'm going to do with this space. Probably power, maybe farming, maybe some sort of tame animal pen or something like that. But I think things are moving along very well. And actually, people live over here now. It's terrible, but they live over here. And that is probably an excellent place to call it on Stranded Alien Dawn for today. Of course, we'll pick up some more of this again next time. But things progress. People live over in the new base right now. It's terrible, but they live here. Power's getting moved over. All these things are getting plugged over here. Fortifications are coming along. We've got a fishing pier, which is very, very exciting. I, God knows what fish live in there, but we're going to fish them up. You know what? Why don't we have fishing in this game? Why? We should get fishing in this game. Hey, Stranded Alien Dawn, let's get some fishing going on. Guys, do please keep the comments coming in. Let me know what you're thinking of this. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. You know what, kids? I'm the camp counselor who's going to teach you the truth, all right? None of this manby-pamby kumbaya nonsense, all right? We are learning the truth here. The truth is death and disappointment and theft. Basically, I did the theft. Everything else is on you. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I, don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. So once again, the fish are on fire, and uh, you're on fire. Isabella is in fact on fire. The YouTube award ceremony for the best YouTubers of the time. I think this may be a mild exaggeration. I look like I'm paralyzed with fear and or hunger up on stage there.